Good afternoon, everybody. I'm sure you'll be delighted to know that uh, you're going to have another PowerPoint presentation, but I promise we'll, we'll, uh, I'm conscious of time, so I'll, I'll go through it pretty quickly. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do uh, very briefly for, for the next uh, 10 or 15 minutes is to talk to any of you who aren't aware of who Enterprise Ireland are, the importance of the software sector, specifically to Enterprise Ireland, our engagement with technology centres and DCU, and then our priorities going forward. So just very briefly for Enterprise Ireland, uh, we are really working with innovative Irish companies and it's about helping Irish companies to become global players internationally. So we're working with them to support their growth. Uh, we are connecting them to global cu customers and we're really helping them to have game-changing technology. So focus on the technology. We have 31 offices worldwide helping connect uh, entrepreneurs in Ireland and existing companies in Ireland to, uh, to global customers. Um, just in terms of, it's about opening doors of opportunity and helping to access com companies. Uh, in terms of our exports, uh, the key market for it is still the UK. Obviously in the technology side, US is a key market and the, the other main market is Northern Europe. Uh, it's about partnering with Irish industry. Uh, total exports, 2012, 16.2 billion. What you'll see here is the sector that grew strongest in uh, 2012 is software sector. And that is the only sector that throughout the whole downturn continued to grow every year. So it's a really important sector from an Enterprise Ireland perspective. In 2013, there were 18,000 jobs created in Irish uh, enterprise. That's 175,000 people employed directly and about 300,000 if you include the indirect jobs associated with it. Spending about 18 billion annually in the, in the economy. So really important. And a similar spend, Irish companies spend the same amount annually in the Irish economy as all the multinationals in Ireland. So there's a lot of uh, misperception that the Irish companies have a, a much lesser contribution really significant spenders. In terms of, from a, an innovation perspective, and obviously in technology, innovation is key. We have almost 1,000 companies at this, year, at this stage who are spending 100,000 or more annually in R&D. We are investing 87 million directly in the third level in terms of supporting the innovation agenda of companies. So direct, um, in, uh, investing directly in companies and also in the third level in order to make sure that they're clued in. Supporting the leadership development of companies, a lot of correlation between strong leadership and strong company, uh, strong company success, so major programs in that, and then funding the expansion of companies. And we have about 645 million available within Ireland through our investment in venture capital funding directly, and we're investing about 64 million annually in, in uh, startup companies through equity, uh, both directly and indirectly. So how do we help? It's about connectivity, it's investment, it's introductions to uh, other investors and then supporting research and innovation. Just in terms of the expansion side, uh, and I've covered the 64 million in that, uh, it's about investment through equity and also access to grants and support uh, to support the, the, the development of the leadership capability and research and development. In terms of the uh, company development side, we're working on the investment both directly in terms of supporting companies with their leadership development and also access to networks that can support the development of companies and also access to mentors and also entrepreneurship throughout Ireland. And obviously that's a key focus of uh, uh, the government policy. Just in terms of the sectors in Ireland as to where software and by software, it's everything in the ICT related uh, sectors. Food is the largest sector of Irish industry, about 55% of the total, but software is, is, is number two. So it's a really important sector from an Irish uh, enterprise perspective. There's about 640 software companies within our portfolio employing over 11,000 people. And that's on a uh, trajectory to grow to about 18,000 by the end of the decade. In terms of exports, a billion exports out of the total turnover of the sector of 1.7 double digit growth and it is the biggest source of startups and I was interested when Alistair asked the question how many people here want to start their own companies. Certainly over 60% of our uh, startups on an annual basis come from either 
any, anything to do with the internet, software, ICT sectors. So really important, if that sector doesn't develop startups, we really won't hit any uh, targets. It's not only about uh, what's happening in the startup side, it's all, also about the impact of the whole uh, software and cloud technologies for all of Irish enterprise. And that very often gets lost in the discussions that we have internally, that people assume that everything to do with cloud or that's the tech companies. If you go to a, a food sector uh, presentation at this stage, you're gonna get a presentation somewhere along the way on cloud and big data and the implications of all of this on every sector of Irish enterprise. And certainly one of the challenges for us is not just about working to develop the opportunity for the sector, but to make sure that the rest of Irish enterprise actually are up to speed and are using these technologies. And certainly we'd be open to any uh, suggestions that any of you had. And actually I think uh, uh, technology centers like IC4, many of the non-tech centers could benefit from some engagement with them. In terms of cloud, and you've obviously spent a lot of time talking about this today, but certainly it's, it's a sector which there's a lot of employment creation potential in, in this side. Uh, it's about improving the competitiveness of all aspects of business. And one of the key challenges is the skills gap. There's such a demand for skills in this area, and obviously the challenge for the universities and colleges is really to try to produce sufficient quality graduates to meet the demand in terms of the technology centers. And uh, first of all, congratulations to the team here today from IC4 for organizing this, because this is about uh, technology centers. The government are investing 100 million in technology centers, and it's really about supporting enterprise to accelerate the expo the, them to exploit the new technologies. It's about bridging the gap and really trying to, to make what's happening within the universities and colleges real for companies, <laughs> to make that bridge, to get them to do near to market uh, relevant development work to really help industry. And it's about generating new technologies and new sources of growth. Four of the, there's, there's 15 technology centers actually at this stage and four of them are in the software related areas. Uh, really important, not just for new startups, but for all of the existing companies. And certainly the exposure I've had recently to IC4 and from people who are using the, the, the center, I'd be encouraging anybody related to the sector who isn't actually using it to, to, to be following up after events like today. Really one of the big things is there's massive commitment from government to, to developing these centers and really the challenge is to make sure that the bulk of this is actually tapped into the resource that's available. It's about helping with research, networking, access to, to knowledge, and really helping businesses to, to, to leverage what's going on with, within the university. On a wider basis with DCU, we're working with uh, the university in terms of leadership programs. Management for Growth is one for supporting Irish industry, which DCU has won the tender for against competition globally, so really strong input. Uh, entrepreneurship development and this is about uh, supporting uh, startups and we're specifically focusing on underrepresented groups and, a, and over the next number of weeks what will be of interest to a lot of people in the room here is specific initiatives for uh, youth entrepreneurship programs and youth being uh, up to uh, 25 to 30 is the age group so really it's about helping earlier stage uh, uh, entrepreneurs to, to, to get on the road. Uh, female entrepreneurship, something which is, uh, Ireland is pretty much behind the curve in terms of the, the, the level of projects coming up on this side. So we're specifically focusing uh, 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 competitive funds to encourage females to start their own companies and having some success in that side. And then the last area of interest here is the international education side, where there's significant work in terms of encourage encouraging foreign students to come to places like DCU to avail of the excellent education system. In terms of priorities for Enterprise Ireland, number one on entrepreneurship, and I've talked about uh, spin outs, female entrepreneurship and youth entrepreneurship. In terms of the getting a better return on investment from the significant government commitment to research and innovation. So that's about getting 
quality talent out of the universities with relevant skills. It's about uh, getting more licenses out of the universities, more spin-outs, and actually making sure that uh, areas such as the technology centres like IC4 are being used by enterprise to make sure that uh, Irish enterprise is at the leading edge globally. And the, the sector development uh, in terms of the cloud area, key focus in getting this development out, not just for the technology related sectors, but all aspects of Irish industry. So in terms of what we're talking about, new software companies, we will probably support somewhere in the region of uh, 80 to 100 uh, software and internet related projects this year. Just to the, the point that Alistair was making in terms of the, the scale of projects. And obviously, uh, we are now seeing, you know, through lean, uh, lean starts, much lower cost of entry of new projects coming on board, and therefore uh, the packages or the scale of investment needed to get up and running much less than previously. Maximizing the use of technology centers I've talked about. Key issue for many Irish companies is uh, access to talent. And a key interest for me in any uh, thing is to really get across to, to many people who are unaware of what's going on within Irish enterprise is the, the excitement of working in early stage companies and actually the exciting place to work. And increasingly that's coming through from the, 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 the career workshops that we're running in terms of students seeing the, 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 the job span within small uh, early stage companies has been very exciting. Uh, the creative ideas and minds is about really broadening out the, the sector and really making sure that the Irish economy is tapping into everything that's going on within the third level. And it's about telling stories. We're a great uh, country of storytellers. And one of the things is about getting out the stories of the successful Irish software and technology companies that we have that are actually solving problems across the world. Many times you go on a trade mission, you actually sit in front, in front of customers across the globe who can tell you about the successes of Irish industry, which are well-kept secrets at home. So we have a, a group of great companies. We'd be delighted to work with anybody here who's keen to start their own company or uh, who wants further information on how we can support the acceleration of your growth. So thank you very much and hope you've all a good time.